Programming is all about code, right? Learning syntax, understanding libraries, picking up the right frameworks. That's what makes a good developer. Or does it? There's one skill that actually separates the rookies from the pro. And it's the skill no one really teaches. The skill that makes everything else fall into place. Problem solving. The ultimate skill in programming. But here's where it gets interesting. Why is it that some developers seem to breeze through problems finding solutions like magic, while others get stuck for hours, even days? What if there was a way to approach any challenge with clarity and confidence? And today we are diving into the hardest, most essential skill in programming, problem solving. And we are going to break down exactly how you can master it. First, let's start with why problem solving is so hard. Well, for one, it's not as tangible as learning a new language or syntax. When you are struggling with a problem, there's no clear checklist to follow, no beginner friendly steps, and definitely no walkthrough for whatever your specific issue is. Each problem is unique, which is both the beauty and the pain of coding. And then there's the mental hurdle. It's easy to feel defeated by a problem, especially when every solution just opens up a dozen more questions. You start doubting yourself, wondering if you are meant for this, or if everyone else just magically knows what to do. Well, they don't. The reality is every developer faces these moments. The good ones just get better at navigating them. Now, problem solving is a process, and the first step towards mastering it is understanding the problem. The biggest mistake often happens before you've even written a line of code. Before anything, take time to understand the problem. Read the requirements, reread them if you have to, and don't be afraid to ask clarifying questions if something is unclear. You want to be absolutely certain about what you're solving, because a misinterpretation here means wasted time and effort later. Ask yourself, what is the input? What should the output look like? Are there any specific cases to handle? Knowing these details upfront can save you hours of debugging later. And let's take a classic example of the FizzBuzz problem. The problem is simple. Print numbers from 1 to 100, but for multiples of 3, print Fizz, for multiples of 5, print Buzz, and for multiples of both, print FizzBuzz. Now this example might look straightforward, but understanding these requirements exactly is key before you plan and start coding. And once you've understood the problem, register the urge to dive straight into coding. It's tempting, but skipping a plan often leads to dead ends and messy code. Instead, sketch out your approach first. This is what we call a pseudocode. It's like the rough draft before your final masterpiece. And for FizzBuzz, here's how it might look. First, loop through numbers from 1 to 100. Then, for each number, check if it is divisible by 3 and 5. If so, print FizzBuzz. Third, if it's only divisible by 3, print Fizz. Then if it's only divisible by 5, print Buzz. And otherwise, just print the number. This gives you a clear, logical roadmap to follow. So when you start coding, you already know what each line should accomplish, which makes everything flow faster and reduces errors. Now with your plan in place, it's finally time to start coding. Begin by translating your pseudocode into actual code step by step. This way you are not second guessing or experimenting blindly. You're following the structure you've already created. And as you go, test each part of your solution, as this allows you to catch any issues earlier and makes debugging easier. And once your code is running smoothly, take a quick look back. Are there ways to simplify? Any repeated steps that can be refined? Building clean, efficient code is often the final step in solving any problem effectively. And there you have it. The hardest yet the most valuable skill in programming isn't about memorizing libraries or frameworks. It's about learning how to think through problems. Problem solving is the real backbone of programming. It's the skill that turns a coder into a developer. So next time you hit a wall, remember, the wall is there to make you sharper, not to stop you. Good programmers don't see obstacles. They see puzzles waiting to be solved. Every bug, every error, every seemingly impossible challenge is a chance to level up. And programming isn't about finding the easy way out. It's about embracing the struggle, the thrill of the hunt for a solution. So lean into it, because one day you'll look back and realize those walls you once hit are now the foundations of your skill, your grit, and your confidence as a developer. Keep building and keep coding, because the journey is the reward. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.